Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Um, so uh, last class we were actually discussing about the backend functionality. So we have understand the uh, Node.js and Express.js and how to make the routing system uh, from validations of server side. So those are all the things we have discussed. So now it's time to understand the backend database. Okay, so we have reached up to the server level and where did you store the data? So, uh, I mean, last few examples, we have received the form data to the Express server and that received form data where you have to store. Okay, and where you have to store is you're supposed to store into database and which is the best option for backend Node Express is uh, MongoDB. Okay, and this is actually a NoSQL database. Uh, so in this video and uh, for following videos, we're going to understand about MongoDB and what is MongoDB and uh, how to install and set up in your system and also how to install the setup in uh, uh, in the cloud MongoDB cloud and also we understand how to make some uh, shell operations using MongoDB and we also understand uh, how to use MongoDB with the REST API of ExpressJS and we develop a few applications on that okay so let's start so first of all uh, let me just show you the website of MongoDB. MongoDB. Yeah, this is the official website. Yep. So this is your, uh, I mean, this is the official website of MongoDB. So generally, what is this MongoDB? It's a general uh, database solution uh, for any application. So it's a database provider, just like your Oracle database. Uh, I think you might have seen few databases, right? Oracle database, MySQL database, uh, PostgreSQL uh, database like that. Uh, MongoDB also a database, but this is a, a different kind of database. Uh, it is not a, a SQL database because uh, the, uh, the Oracle, MySQL, these are all SQL databases, okay, relationship databases. And this is actually comes under NoSQL database. So NoSQL stands for not only SQL. It is just an alternate for the SQL databases. And here we store the data in a form of documenter. Uh, I think you might be aware of JavaScript objects, right? And I think you might, you might aware of JSON data, right? So JSON data is a collection of JavaScript objects, right? So that same objects as it is you're going to store into database in a document format that is uh, actually uh, behind the mongodb okay that actually called as a bson uh, which which have some different types from mongodb but it'd be very easy if you are from a javascript background if you know uh, something about json data okay and so let's uh, move forward and we install a mongodb uh, in our system and we also start with the shell operations. So let's install MongoDB in the next video. Thank you.